All right, so I've done a little talking about my low back pain, some of the yoga stretches I've been doing to fix it, and I thought I'd do a quick video on my squat form and what I think was causing the pain in the first place. So here we go. Okay, so in this first part, I'm just going to show myself doing a low bar squat. A low bar squat is where you put the bar really low down on your shoulders. So um, actually below your traps, um, pretty far down on the back. And uh, the thing about this is that my form is actually pretty decent here. My back stays pretty straight. Uh, I feel pretty good. I hit pretty decent depth. Um, you know, maybe just the top of my spine's rounding down a little bit more than I'd like. Uh, but with low weight, it's not so bad. So here's a high bar squat. I don't know if you can see from this angle, but the bar is actually quite high on my shoulders. Uh, the nice part about this is it kind of helps me keep my back a little bit more upright, but my neck, I kind of notice, doesn't feel so high. So here I'm kind of switching back to more of a low bar squat. Um, and what you'll notice is I'm starting to have trouble uh, with my back. You'll notice I go down pretty straight back, but now as I'm coming up, my hips shoot up before my back and I'm almost trying to do like this reverse bow where I've got to like lift the top of my back. See, I'm lifting the top of my back up and that's actually causing quite a bit of pressure. So what I'm doing to change that is I'm switching to a front bar squat. So here I've got just the bar. I've got the, it, it's sitting basically on the front of my shoulders and you'll notice I'm keeping a nice upright spine. Uh, the front squat's actually harder to do, uh, lift as much weight because uh, you do keep such an upright spine. You can really feel it in your abs and the side of your abs, aka your obliques. So my goal here is uh, to do a lot less weight. You'll notice smaller plates. I'm only doing 95 pounds instead of about 140 pounds. And I'm just trying to work on my form. So it's kind of a bummer to go backwards a little bit and wait. But I've really noticed that this has helped my low back pain quite a bit. Just switching to this, not putting as much pressure on my back because I'm not bending forward as much. Um, coupling that with all the hamstring stretches and hip stretches seems to be really helping me. Okay, so that's it for this one. Uh, pretty excited to have three videos in a row coming out this week. Uh, it's good to kind of feel back on track and excited to find a way I can squat that's not hurting my low back. That's really a big deal for me. So that's it for this episode and Wes and the stash are out.